Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Team Lynch Beard Adventures, Michael Lynch. Thanks for joining me on episode three of my pursuit of fall colors in the mountains. This episode is actually supposed to be up in Stanley, Idaho. Stanley's getting some weather actually today, some rain, which is gonna turn into freezing rain and ice on the road tonight. And then tomorrow and Monday, there'd be snow showers. So I was actually gonna overnight in Stanley tonight. Um, last night was supposed to be a boondock in Twin Falls, but with the weather report decided, you know what, I'm gonna stick closer to home this time. So I'm actually gonna take Big Cottonwood Canyon here in the Salt Lake Valley all the way to its end. And if Gardner Pass, which is at the very end there at Brighton Ski Resort, if that's open, I'm actually gonna take that over the pass to Park City and then deviate back down to the Heber Valley, which will allow me to loop around, make my way over to Sundance, and then take the Alpine Loop Scenic Byway up over those mountains through that canyon with some great colors on the way back home. So let's check it out. It looks like it's actually, I said, I think it's a guards rail or something pass, but it's actually guardsman pass. It is open um, and the colors are actually really awesome. So we're gonna take us over to Park City right now um, and then head down to Heber Valley after, check it out. So made it through Guardsman Pass, um, you probably picked up on some of the descent or at least the downhill stuff, maybe saw some um, chairlifts and stuff like that. They're not going right now, it's like the shoulder season in between season, but um, you can see it's still packed, uh, Main Street at least is super, super packed. Um, now I'm actually going to loop back a little bit on the Guardsman Pass and get back to the fork. Uh, we took a left at that fork coming here to Park City. If you took a right on that fork, it actually takes you to the Heber Valley, um, which uh, Heber City and Midway uh, being the two kind of main towns there. And there's you know some, some good local Utah cheese that gets made there. A lot of farming. It's also a pretty affluent um, part of the Salt Lake Valley. There's also a hot spring there. It's actually within a cave. Um, but yeah, so let's check it out as we go back up Gardner down to the Heber Valley. It should be awesome.
So made it to Sundance Resort, actually, and Sundance Resort is pretty gorgeous, pretty spectacular. Kind of look at it, let the camera adjust some of the colors and stuff. Um, but it's also really, really packed. Like, you know, the shoulder season right before the snow comes and stuff like that. Everyone's trying to get it in. Totally get it. I understand. Um, gonna try to check out and see if I can grab some lunch real quick. I left the pups um, into Tacoma. No, I don't have Bertha today. I have the Tacoma. Before we do the Alpine Loop Scenic Byway, um, yeah, check it out. Yeah, the restaurant got a little bit of, can't really see it too much, but it's actually pretty packed. There's only like two of their, like their deli and their grill is open, not like their big restaurant. So it's fine. I'm not gonna wait in line. It's still great to take in the sights here at Sundance Resort. The lifts are definitely shut down. <laughs> no one's using them to get up to the top of the mountain to hike or anything like that, which is kind of odd actually. But, um, but overall, yeah, we got some, some yurts in the background. We got, we got leaves falling from the trees. Everything's looking great. It is pretty awesome. Um, but we're gonna try to hit this Alpine Loop scenic byway right now. Um, and if there's somewhere I could turn out and uh, take some pictures, I'll include those in the video too. So we just passed the summit of the Alpine Loop Scenic Byway, just over 8,000 feet. I think actually 8,056 feet to be exact. And it was packed. I mean, the parking lot overflow, crazy. So I've not been able to get into any pullouts or anything like that. But the colors, as you've seen in the drive, are just amazing and right on top of the road. So we're gonna keep going.
right everyone so um, back where I started at Team Lynch headquarters um, yeah did not get to stop anywhere on this drive it was just crazy crazy packed um, really really bad and but I think we got really good colors after, after Sundance um, along the Alpine Loop scenic byway but as you saw like it's like one and a half car lengths wide it's pretty narrow pretty scary narrow and and a little sketchy in some areas and there's some people you know they, they don't like to get really close to the edge they take up a little more of the road and then of course uh, here in Utah we love our travel trailers or at least people that own them and they will take them anywhere including um, little scenic byways that are like one and a half car lengths wide this is actually a really really good easy route to do um, I actually started about 8 30 this morning and I was done by lunch so if you're ever in the Salt Lake Valley ever in Utah and you want to do this drive um, it's epic even whenever it's not um, fall of the colors and I will say the Alpine Loop scenic byway is probably one of if not the most scenic Alpine drive here in Utah so hope you liked it if you did please like comment and of course subscribe to my channel um, I'll be releasing, releasing videos every week um, not all of them will be van life videos like this one is not I'm, in, I'm here in my my taco um, Jarvis and um, yes I do name every one of my vehicles but we'll have a bunch of other videos as well um, so check them all out until next time